morning, um, everybody. I'm very happy to welcome you and thank you for, I mean, the, for your time uh, for this brief uh, webinar. Um, before um, I, before we get into the today discussion, I just wanted to say a few words uh, of introduction and share with you the reason why we have changed in the bailout and included this uh, new position. Um, I am also thanking the whole uh, EC members that are here in the representation of the whole EC, and uh, for and I thank them for, of course, for the tremendous work that has been done in the last uh, month, but I would say in the last years. So the society in recent years has been, uh, in a way, reaping the seeds of, um, that have been sown and growing. Uh, we see it in the participation in the in the life of the society, and we see it clearly in the um, in the Congress, which has been grown and continues to do so. And uh, what we need out is to consolidate, um, also in addition to the economic sustainability, also its membership and the activity we offer to the membership. So we felt that growing the EC uh, helps the society in uh, um, carrying out all these activities and the initiatives that has now uh, needed to make uh, SESAM more and more the venue in which uh, to grow professionally for the educators and professionals in, uh, in healthcare. So increasing the number of EC members with, uh, in a way, a less responsibility or a less defined, no responsibility, defined function then the treasurer, for example, or the secretary or the president, uh, I mean, we believe that can also uh, be a way uh, to engage new leaders, uh, to understand the dynamics of the societies, uh, of the society, sorry, and then to perhaps serve in a, a different role for the benefit of the society in the future. Of course, extending the numbers also will help the entire EC uh, to distribute uh, the workload in a more uh, balanced way and uh, to take uh, more responsibility, uh, more responsibilities and uh, to, let's say, launch new initiative uh, all over the, the, the month and the years. So uh, that's the kind of spirit that drove us in amending the the below, and I think it's also the same spirit the, in which uh, I mean you uh, members uh, approved it in the last uh, votation. So I don't want to uh, waste any more time, and I will uh, leave the words to Kirsty uh, to better uh, explain what we are going to um, to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pierluigi. And yes, my name is Kirsty Freeman. I am the secretary of uh, the CSAM Executive Committee, as you can see here on the screen. And I wanted to have the privilege of talking to you today because I am the newest member of this committee. And it's with that passion and enjoyment that I want to encourage all of you out there to think about whether you have some time up your sleeve to volunteer your time and come and join us on the CSAM Executive Committee. So we're really fortunate that as Pierluigi highlighted in our new bylaws changes, we have three new positions that are opening up. And so I think on the next slide, we're going to be able to show you how those portfolios break down and what sort of time commitment and work uh, you might be doing in one of these roles. So when you're recruited into this position, it's actually a two-year term. Um, and so this would take effect from uh, June 2024 through until June 2026, which happens to coincide with our annual meeting every year. Um, as you can see here on the screen, we also will have elections in 2025 for the positions of treasurer and president-elect. We manage our workload quite flexibly amongst the team, but as we grow, we wanna make it really clear about the priorities that all of the various uh, committee members take on. And so some of the key portfolios that we have within the executive committee at the moment uh, sit with education, our SIGs, which have just been rebranded as communities of practice, our affiliates, our external relations and our industry partners, accreditation, the scientific committee, our mentoring program, and our SIG university. So they're some of the key portfolios that we look after. 
Matt as secretary. Um, we also have uh, aspects of marketing and comms. I'm passionate about membership and growing uh, the educational opportunities that we have for our members. Our past president and president-elect often look after uh, one of our key priorities as an organisation, our annual scientific meeting, and they work hand in hand with our scientific committee. And currently our vice president takes on a variety of roles, including managing and supporting our communities of practice and our affiliates. So what are our responsibilities moving forward? Well, we have the privilege, depending on the individuals that are elected by our membership, we will tap into some of their skills and unique experiences as we manage these portfolios. But we're wanting assistance with managing our, our affiliates, growing our communities of practice. As I said, you would have seen in our recent newsletter that we're really developing our education committee so that the ongoing opportunities we have for our membership throughout the year that support our annual meeting are growing all the time for our members. So these are some of the things that you'll be able to contribute to if you join us at the executive committee. So on the next slide, you see the timeframes for our recruitment for these roles. So other than today, we'll be having another webinar. Um, the dates will be flexible, um, uh, as you can see here on the screen, and nominations will actually open tomorrow, and you can get your name in uh, to be uh, in the mix. So we'll have this webinar will be recorded and virtually available for those of you who aren't joining us in person, and we'll have another one face-to-face -face on the 18th of April. At the end of the month, on the 30th of April, nominations will close, and we will collate those nominations, and like we did with our recent bylaws, we will have an electronic voting system where all of our members can actually vote uh, after a two-week period of reviewing the nominations. This will mean by the end of the May, we will be able to look at the uh, people that our members would like to see join the board. It's important to note that this will be made official at our annual general meeting, which is scheduled for the 20th of June, 2024 in Prague. And we look forward to welcoming those new board members uh, at that time and they'll be onboarded then. So it's a really exciting time um, to join CSAM. Uh, the, the opportunities that you have to volunteer and contribute to the growing community uh, is really exciting. I know I am so enthused working with the wonderful people that uh, currently make up the committee. But one of the things that we're all passionate about is the sustainability of such an incredible organisation. And without future leaders such as you coming through and putting your hand up, um, you know, we want to all be able to walk away at some point and know that CSAN is in good hands. So please, I encourage you, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to the email address that you can see on your screen. That will come to me, secretary at CSAM or, sorry, secretary at csamsociety.org, and I'll be able to field any questions that you may have. We currently meet about once a month um, virtually, uh, and we have a wonderful secretariat that support that. In between time, there are ad hoc projects that we work on, and we work really well. Doesn't matter what time zone you're in, uh, in terms of how you can contribute, both synchronously and asynchronously. So, Pierre Luigi, I'm not sure if there's anything else you wanted to add from our slides today. Um, just would like to emphasize what you say that I mean, serving the society in a leadership role, it's a, at least for me, it was a, and it's still a wonderful journey. And uh, it's an investment of time, of course, it's on voluntary basis, but and it takes some of your spare time, it's a matter of fact. Uh, but I think it's a very rewarding, uh, at least what I'm getting from the society probably. It's, uh, I mean, compensate the, the, you know, the time I'm investing. So I really invite anyone, uh, any members to, I mean, take the same enthusiasm and to, you know, join uh, the, the society, serving the society with the, an active role uh, at different level, not necessarily as um, easy members. Of course, this is an option and we all invite this is the reason why we're having this webinar, but also there are many other opportunities uh, as the committees that we presented in the, in the first and the second slide. So this is an open invitation and uh, I would like to, I mean, thank you all of you, uh, Christy, uh, Tamara, and, uh, and also the secretary, I mean, Stefan and uh, uh, Kirsten, 
that are, I mean, in the shadow, but they are always uh, a very helpful and, uh, I mean, it, they, they help us a lot. Um, I don't know if anything else to add, Kisti, Tamara, we can otherwise greet uh, all our members and uh, we see on the live webinar in two weeks. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoy and get your applications in soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.